A glass of wine go hand in hand. Cheers to that! By your side, I will go wherever you take me. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, is this like Tinder? Hey, what's up? It's Rumi. Drink with me. Welcome to my channel where your entertainment is my mission. Okay, make sure you stay till the end of the video because there might be some shoe play dangle. Ding, ding, ding. All right, today we have a Portugal wine called Evaristo. I totally got it because of the cute, bright yellow crow bird thing on the packaging and it totally grabbed my attention and also it was on sale and I searched it up, rating was okay but um, the flavor notes people are commenting are right up my alley so we will see I don't have to do it myself. It popped off. All right. Ivaristo. It is from Lisboa region. And um, 2019. Let's see how it's like. And make sure you stay till the second part because I'm again going to decan it and come back in a few hours and see. So the cork is like pattern and got 2019. So great, Vinos. Totally not anything on here. Anyway, let's pour it out and see. It's quite purple, bright red, deep, um, purplish red, quite dark, quite dark. Okay, let's see. Legs are forming slowly. Um, yeah, it's quite dense. The color is quite dense for now. Okay, let's smell. Oh, it smells very alcohol. Mm. And it smells like something's gone bad. It's like a little bit sour when the food is too old and it's gone sour. <laughs> Spoiled food. Okay, it's not a very pleasant smell, but it just got open, so maybe it's just releasing all the. Fermentation. I don't know. Alright, let's see. Let's give it a minute because I think we shall wait for a while. Let's see what it says. What can I tell you? Question mark. I am Ivaristo single. Okay, I'm Ivaristo, period. Single, period. Okay, is this like Tinder? I love Lisbon. My city and the waves that roll in from the Atlantic, I always dress in black. And I am a firm believer that life and a glass of wine go hand in hand. Cheers to that! By your side, I will go wherever you take me. Beautiful, beautiful. By your side, I will go wherever you take me. So I think that little passage refers to this black bird. Um, it's not a seagull, it's a pelican, I don't know. Got a big mouth. So it is referring to the black bird that it like to dress in black. Okay, okay. That's cute, that's cute, pretty cute, pretty cute, pretty cute. All right, let's give it a first impression. Cheers. Okay, it 
it's quite smoky, peppery and smoky, which is nice because I like smoky, spicy pepper. Hmm, interesting. Um, and the it's it's also got a little bit of the red cherry fruit, those type of fruits. And let's see, let's have more. Cheers. Yeah, it's quite smoky and I got the bitterness at the end, like the alcohol bitterness. But it's not bad, short length for now, not sweet at all, very dry, medium body, low in tannin, low in acidity. Yeah, it's quite kind of like peppery Whoop. don't drop your class ruby it's expensive stuff L what was the other side? it's quite licorice herbal peppery at the moment it's not bad it's spicy um smoky and herbal peppery so we'll decan it and we'll be back let's see what we use let's use this Riddle. Merlot shape. Let's pour it out and see is there anything at the bottom. This is a pretty new wine. Very, very new. So I don't suspect there is anything at the bottom. I'm not doing it too slowly because I'm pretty sure and confident that there's how much? Let's see, let's see. Yep. Okay. Hold on, it's getting heavy. Yep, nothing. I poured them the whole bottle out. Alright, let's decan this and we shall be back in a few hours. BRB! Hey, I'm back! It has been two and a half hours. Let's see how our if uh, Risto Blackbird wine tastes like now. Okay, let's top it up a bit more. I have been drinking quite a bit of it during this time and it hasn't really settled down. Okay, it smells nicer now. It smells like more of that um, uh, peppery licorice scent. It's quite spicy on the nose. It's quite of that stingy alcohol spiciness on the nose. Let's try it. Cheers. Okay. It's still very stingy, peppery, and alcohol spiciness. Ooh, this is a strong, intense one. But it's a little bit longer now, and um, it's more of that soil in the mouth now. Okay, let's have more. Okay, it's quite licorice and peppery and then there's a little bit of that soy sauce, soy sauce scent, um, flavor and it's a little bit metal, yeah it's quite metal in the mouth, like iron, metal, like a steel, when you lick uh, metal lamp on the street kind of thing 
Not that I have tried it. Yeah, overall, more on that metal mineral licorice and minty flavor. And it's a little bit of smoky. Now the smoky is covered by the metal. And tannic came, it's more tannic now. The tannin came out more. Okay, interesting, very interesting. Yeah, it's quite spicy, peppery, licorice. Ah, I don't know, not my fave, not my type of red wine. It's quite it's tannic now. 13% alcohol. Lisboa from Southern Portugal. Lisboa. No? Alright, make sure you subscribe for more shoe play. Dangle. And um, let me know what kind of shoes you want to see and your wine recommendation check out the link in Amazon send me some shoes I'll dangle for you <laughs> okay also I created a Facebook group just in case I disappear in thin air from YouTube or Instagram you never know Add me in all of them. Follow me on Instagram. I post every day there. Follow me on Facebook. I just created that group. I would love to see you there. Okay, thank you for watching. Hit the bell button here. And I'll see you in my next one. Cheers!